By the end of this video, you'll know how to redefine a sketch plane in Fusion 360. For this tutorial, I'm going to use some demo geometry that I've gone ahead and set up. If you'd like to follow along, you can click the link down below in the video description to download the demo file. First, I'll make sure the redefine sketch plane component is activated. I'll right click on the component and select activate. You'll see that I have this simple part that has a few circles cut out. After the first circle was cut out, the rest were revolved around the z-axis with the circular pattern tool. There will be times when you're 3D modeling that the requirements for a part change in which you'll need to delete parts of a model. So let's take a look at the common issue of sketch planes being messed up after deleting part of a model. For example, let's say that I no longer need this smaller extruded cylinder. However, I want to keep these three circle cutouts. I just want them to be moved to the main body of the part. If I select the second extrude option in the timeline below, you'll notice that highlights the extruded cylinder. I'll right click on the extrude feature and I'll select delete. Immediately after, you're prompted with a deletion warning message that states the feature is referenced by other features in the timeline. I'll go ahead and click the delete button so we can take a look at what happens. By deleting the body, we now have two warnings in our timeline, as signified by the yellow highlight. What's causing both of these warning issues is the fact that the features created after the original sketch were originally referencing the top plane of that extruded cylinder that I just deleted. If you right click on the sketch and select Review Warning, you'll be able to read the warning message in more detail and the problem area will be highlighted in red. For now, I'll click the close button to close the warning dialog box. To fix this is pretty simple. All we need to do is redefine the sketch plane so Fusion 360 knows what face we want this sketch to reference. I'll right click on the first sketch in the timeline and I'll select the redefine sketch plane option. This brings up the Redefine Sketch Plane dialog box in which you're able to select a new face that the sketch will reference. I'll select the top face of the cylinder and then I'll click OK in the dialog box and you'll notice that it fixed the first warning message. I'll now repeat these steps to fix the second warning. I'll right click on the last sketch in the timeline and I'll select the Redefine Sketch Plane option. After the Redefine Sketch Plane dialog box opens up, I'll select the top face of the part and I'll click OK in the dialog box. One important thing to note you'll see that the tool is not available in the Sketch drop down list or any other drop down list. You're only able to access the tool by right clicking on the sketches in the timeline or by right clicking on sketches in the Fusion 360 browser. I should also point out that you can redefine sketches even if they don't have a warning message. Let's now take a look at one more very common instance where the Redefine Sketch tool comes into play. At some point, you've probably been working on a sketch in Fusion 360 only to realize that you were sketching on the wrong plane. If I turn this model to look at it from a perspective, you'll notice that I drew the circle in the middle of the model on one of the origin planes. But I actually wanted to draw the circle on the outside face of the part. Instead of redrawing this sketch from scratch, I'll simply hit the Stop Sketch button in the toolbar. I'll right click on the sketch in the timeline. I'll select Redefine Sketch Plane. And I'll select the outside face of the part before clicking the OK button in the dialog box. 
I can now extrude cut this circle and make it cut through until it reaches the inside face. The last trick that I'll show you is a way to use the extrude command to quickly extrude this same circle on the other side of the part. I'll activate the extrude command from the create dropdown list. Then I'll make sure the circle sketch is turned on in the Fusion 360 browser. This will allow me to select the circle sketch as the profile to extrude. Essentially, I'm going to reuse this same sketch in another area of my model. Next, I'll change the Start option to From Object because the From Object option lets you choose the face to start the extrude from. I'll select the opposite outside face of the model. I'll change the Extent Type to the To Object option and I'll select the inside face. Because the extrude is running through the part, the operation defaults to the cut method, so now all I have to do is click the OK button. As you can imagine, this can save a ton of time when working with sketches that include multiple pieces of geometry especially when you're working with complex parts or assemblies that have ever-changing requirements. In summary, you'll want to use the Redefine Sketch Plane tool anytime you delete or move parts that reference sketch planes. By redefining the sketch to a more appropriate plane, you can save yourself valuable time from having to redraw sketches, and it's much easier than copying and pasting the sketch onto a new plane. As always, I appreciate you taking the time to watch this tutorial. If you've enjoyed this tutorial, please click that thumbs up icon and click on that playlist in the lower right hand corner to watch more Fusion 360 tips and tricks that will help you speed up your workflow. Lastly, if you're new to the channel, be sure to click that red subscribe button and click that little bell icon to be notified of more Fusion 360 tutorials.